Millie Vanilli had just did the Grammy Awards, right? So we had this album, we put out Motown Philly Shot, right? And it was lukewarm, you know, cool record. It didn't really go big black. It kind of went MTV. So they was coming over on the crossover side. And we did the acapella joint, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye. So I'm in Motown, so you know where y'all got down that bad boy. I'm running through the halls, I'm doing my thing. And I'm like, listen, if they gonna mess it up over here and this is all everyone's talking about, then let's forget this record and go to acapella and force everybody over here to real singing. Cause now we at a standstill. Mm -hmm. And you work in radio, you know what they said? Playing the acapella record on radio is dead airspace. Wow. Right? Wow. So they figure if something ain't got no music, they could be playing the commercial. So I said, well, if the radio ain't gonna play it, then we gonna make a damn video. So from when the kid spoke to me that day in the room, he had me so fired up. My first business challenge was shifting people, clowning people with lip syncing to forcing them back to real music with no music. I mean, real vocals without music. And we finally got an acapella record on the radio that seemed to just take on a life of its own. It's so hard to say goodbye. Yeah, that record was a monster. Right. That record and then was it, a complete monster. Right. But the thing is, it came from a dope movie. Then it started ending up in the funerals, and then it just became emotional. But the point of the matter is, sometimes when your back is against the wall, I'm what, 21, the only thing you could think about is, how do you survive? Because up until that point, we wasn't blowing. We was just moving. So I, I looked at that kid and I said, thank you for testing me and making me dig inside. Because from that day forward, it just turned me into a beast. I just wanted it more. And then I started looking at other presidents. And to be honest, I'm not really a part of your man's crew. I'm not the Puff Daddy, Dr. Dre, Jermaine Dupri crew. I'm actually the young nigga to Russell, yep. Andre, yep. Clyde. So when they were women, that's when I was women. So to me, it was no way I could even think like them. So everything with Boys to Men and ABC was the thought process of a Def Jam, an Arista, and this, that, and the third. And then the Death Rose and the Bad Boys and the Social Deaths came. So I was able to sponge from some of the pioneers just before it turned into the Young Gun era. So you were almost, you know, and I don't want to put words, but just me understanding Becoming this businessman, it was by chance. It was Nate calling you to death and really making you believe and making you see the vision that you could be a big time manager. Yep. Is that correct? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.